So there's a new documentary. It's called In Their Shoes, which follows four men who are part of a prison reentry and addiction recovery writing program. They've been offered a chance to tell their own stories in their own words. Take a look. What we do in the room is we start with literature and we start with poetry and we start with an excerpt of writing we, and we let that discussion lead us in whatever direction it goes. Issues that people face when they're coming home have to do with being able to find ways to participate. I've come to learn that everything that has been is everything that is. Our spirit never forgets because in nature, whatever is touched can never be the same. Wow, so moving. One of the people behind this project is executive producer James Wahlberg, and he joins us live this morning with a look at the film and its mission. Good morning, James. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this looks powerful, and, you know, this is something that we are interested in. We, we, we often cover about recidivism and topics like this here on PIX11. So what was your intention, first and foremost, for making this very film? Well, let me just say that first, there, there were many people involved in this process long before I became involved. Uh, I'm a person that has spent time in prison um, and I'm a person in long-term recovery. Uh, and so when this project came to me, um, I was moved, I was touched, and I was excited about people finding their voice, people in this very difficult circumstance. And you talk about recidivism, and you know if we don't find a voice and we don't find a yeah. passion the chances of us going back to prison yeah. is very likely you know that the, the roadblocks are set up in front of us when we come out it's trying to find employment yep. yeah. trying to find recovery services trying to find housing all of these different things um and you know if on top of that we have this this feeling of uh, inadequacy mm -hmm. and shame and all these other things, um, the, the chances are, are, are very small that we're yeah. going to yeah. be successful. But if we can find our voice, we can find that inner strength um, and that we are worthy and that there were things that, that sort of contributed to this process mm -hmm. for us and that if we can find a way to rise above them, that our chances are very, very good. Yeah. I want to say that. When I talk to people, um, I always, uh, people in recovery, people in that are exiting prison, people that are trying to find a way out of homelessness, I always talk about trying to find a passion. Yeah. If you can find a passion, and if that passion can include helping others, I love your chances. Yeah, and now we're hearing the voices behind all these numbers, mm. right? It tells about the four men that we meet through the course of this documentary. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, listen, We've been living through an opioid epidemic for about 20 years now. Yeah. And, and the contributing factor of that and the sort of, sort of the conspiracy behind all of that, if you will, and how people were preyed upon, um, you know, it, it, again, when you, when you listen to these men tell their stories and each one of them will, when they share their story, they will share difficulties that happened when they were very young mm -hmm. um, and and things that they weren't able to overcome and, and people that failed them in their life, in their journey, um, and not knowing how to overcome that on their own. Um, and having the gift of finding somebody like Cheryl Buchanan who created this this organization and, and to find your own value, your own worth yeah. in this process so, is, uh, is incredible. Is, you know, how did, there were four subjects, right, that, that you introduced yeah. us to throughout this documentary. How did you actually choose the, those four and decide those are the stories you wanted to tell and put out there? Well, I think it was a combination of, of people's willingness to participate on film as well as these four men and sort of their willingness and their, and their willingness to be open and to participate and to share their stories. Um, and, you know, you'll find when you watch the film that not everybody is, is successful in terms of the way we look at success, right? Like they came out and they progressed and their life took a different turn. Um, not everybody was successful in that. Yeah. Um, but everybody was successful, I think, 
in finding their voice. Well, you had a unique um, and, perspective too, because, like you said, yeah. you had personal experience, right? And you came from yeah. a large, you come from a large family, which includes some pretty famous names, Donnie and Mark, sure. right? So, did your family yep. say that they saw signs uh, of addiction uh, in your life? Oh yeah, no, there's no doubt. There's no doubt that people and my family, you know, my dad was um, an alcoholic. Um, and, you know, he was a guy that came from a different generation that he worked hard and he, he drank hard. And, um, you know, and we lived in the we lived in a tough neighborhood where there was a lot going on. And, you know, when you're struggling uh, financially, you're struggling uh, with attention. Right. There's nine kids in my family. I'm the middle child of nine. Mm, so wow. I was starved for attention and I was looking for it outside. And so I found guys like the guys that are in in their shoes right I, I found guys that would accept me through what I like to call our brokenness right mm -hmm. that's the way I like to to describe it right I was lost and alone um, and I was welcomed in uh, always welcomed into the wrong crowd if mm. you will. Wow. Uh, well, James, thank you for the work you're doing. We're out of time, but we would keep, I would love to keep this conversation going, but we're simply out of time. Um, In Their Shoes is now available on Video On Demand and all digital platforms. Looking forward to actually checking this out. This is an important topic. Thank you so much, and thank you for your support. It really means a lot. Thanks, all right, James. James.